How's it going for welcome back to another video on the channel today I am here at the Coventry City Stadium and they are facing Middlesbrough today in a championship fixture The two times Coventry have played here so far this season they've won in the 90th minute both being 2-1 wins So will history repeat itself today and will Coventry get a 2-1 win or even win again at the home stadium and make it a 100% record for the season in the championship I still have no idea what end I'm going to be going in the Coventry end or the Middlesbrough end I have no idea apparently both fans are really good I know Coventry from example of being at Brighton versus Coventry in the FA Cup Coventry brought so many fans down to the Amex and that was genuinely one of the best away atmospheres I have ever heard at the Amex Stadium so Coventry I, I don't know I've got a soft spot for both sides I've been to Middlesbrough a lot of times in the away end but I just know for Coventry that they've got bloody brilliant fans no matter what end I go in today it's just fantastic that Coventry have got themselves out of that problem and they're back home their home this is their home not St Andrews not at Birmingham so it's brilliant to see them back at their stadium their home and I'm great to be here ticking off another stadium this will be my 60th stadium we're on the 92 I still haven't got a clue what end to go in the home or away end so I've decided to do a poll on my Instagram and I'll come back to it in about half an hour, an hour or so and decide what end I'll go in, the Coventry end or the away end with Middlesbrough. the voting, the OAN won, nearly 400 votes to go in the Middlesbrough end, so here I am. We're going to be cheering on the Middlesbrough boys today, but all the best Coventry. I'll tell you what, you look at pictures online and you think that's a good stadium, but when you're actually in person, this stadium is so good, and it's just, it feels so good to be back, and I'm, let alone Coventry fans, it must be good to be back home. What a stadium, what a club, great fan base, and it's just fitting so nicely. I love this stadium. Oh, 
good play by Waghorn. He's playing in, playing that wide. Great ball. That was a goal. That would be glass. However, this could be a goal. This could be a goal. Good tackle that, good tackle I'll tell you what, that's been all covered for you, so I just definitely playing a bit of football with that, no. To be honest, I knew it was going to get a goal too, it's going to be covered for about five minutes of our time, and Neil Warner needs to change something half time, because something's so worse in this first half. Oh, my. Goes and bar, good attack. Right, that's a corner ball. If you get into it, as soon as half time is about to come, fair time but these are attacking. Well, not really much going on in the first half. I say it's more Coventry if anything. Second half, if Salt's going to score, it's going to be Coventry. And Middlesbrough, hopefully, they change something at half time. And second half, they come out firing and they can put some chances in the way. And they need to create some first. Right, and Jacob, at half time, what are we saying then? Nil nil, we're not playing good football. We're a one sided team. Yeah, you'll come back. What's your full time prediction? What has one been? Nil, one nil. Last minute. Love to see it. Come on. Taylor, mate. Half time, nil nil. What are you thinking? Really poor half. We need to come out the second half, get a goal. I reckon 2 1. 2 1, one yeah? yeah? What, three yeah. goals? We've had chances. Let's see. One uh, one in. Who's scoring the winner then? I'd like to see Super Matty Crooks. Yeah, go on then. Go on in. Yes. Oh. Here we go. Shoot. Oh, okay.
So as you know, the game ended 2-0 to Coventry, and deservedly so. I think Middlesbrough, the whole game, were really, really poor. The fans know that, and Middlesbrough themselves will know that. But Coventry played very well. They adapted on Middlesbrough's mistakes, and fair enough, they got the three points. Coventry fans are absolutely phenomenal. But I just think Coventry fans are exceptional, and I must admit, and I'm going to admit it myself, it's one of the best home atmospheres I've ever heard. No, you don't feel like your whole stadium, but the noise we heard in that one corner and going around the stadium, I just think it was absolutely class from you fans. I must admit too, but Middlesbrough fans today were very poor, but to be honest with you, it's not the fans' fault. They've got nothing to cheer about throughout the whole 90 minutes. Middlesbrough created nothing. They had nothing to cheer about. It was a poor performance, and what can you get behind if you're going to be playing crap? They bring 2,800 fans to Coventry, and the performance Middlesbrough put on show today was not up to the standard that it should be. But nevertheless, I may have been in the away end, but I can't stop praising the Coventry fans. I love the Twist and Shout song, and next time I will be in the Coventry end, I've got to come back, and I will come back, but experience the home atmosphere in the Coventry end because it just sounded phenomenal, I must say. Three Coventry home wins this season and three 90th minute goals. I mean, what the hell is going on with Coventry? If I'm telling you now, if you're going to an away your home game at Coventry, yeah, stay to the final whistle. I'd, uh, yeah, recommend that. Anyways, boys and girls, I really hope you enjoyed the vlog. Middlesbrough fans, you were class until the performance was really, really poor. And Coventry fans, you were exceptional. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want more content. I go around the 92, tick off the stadiums. I'm not sure where I'm going next, but I think I will be going to a Champions League night somewhere around Europe or even in this country on Wednesday and Tuesday. So make sure you keep your eyes out for that. There's so much content coming out on this channel very soon. Subscribe, follow my Instagram, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Goodbye, guys.